hello there, and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. In the last episode, we messed around for pretty much the entire video, and figured out what to do, and activated the time stone on this ship, and we went back here for no reason. Good job. It's my m Okay, good. My mic is on. We are recording. Okay. And start the timer. Let's head down into the deck and try and save the guy's crew. Oh, is there something over here now? Because it was useless before. Nope. Still useless. Or is it? I feel like there should be a door here. Is there? Nope. Just a useless hallway. Dude. Okay. Here we go. Let's go over here. Mm, let's try it again. Alright. What should we try this time? Um. I have an idea. I'm not sure how it will work, but yeah, this isn't gonna work out. If you can tell what this is, I give you a lot of respect. Oh. Game likes to screw attack. Alright, let's do it. Oh, hi. Sweet. Oh, that's covered up now. He broke those barrels for me. Thanks. Thanks, man. What do we got in here now? What? Look up. Oh, this room. Oh, I get it. I get it. Now, that was actually help. I really didn't notice that. <laughs> oh, I noticed the light, but I didn't think I could hit time shift stone from here. Um, hello. Where are you, dude? Oh, there you are. There we are. Now, that will close that door and open this one. I can get this. I would imagine a key. No, a map. The map. Where do you wish to go? Sweet. Oh, that might be useful. Alright. I'm liking this bow. Oh, dude, don't kill yourself. No. Not there, but over there. Alright. Let us continue on. These doors are locked. If I activate this now, will this do anything? No. Is there anything in there? Oh! 
And I can't reach it through there. So what I'll need to do is hit this. Okay, on the right side. Hit that. That worked out. Alright, and go, go, go! I wonder if we'll ever be able to go into these doors. And now, can hit it just right. Open that door. And the question is should we go back and Activate the time shift stone. Let's wing it from here. And that activates that switch. Yeah, I know. Sorry, let me itch my ear real quick. Excuse me. Oh, monster claw. Five amber relics. It's a whole lot. Excuse me. Alright. Good, I see the enemy core. And booyah. Now I'll open that door which will allow me to do something else. Let's go in there and see if we need to do something. I'll do the time shift thing. Cause I'm thinking we're gonna need to do it sooner or later. Yeah, we do. Arrows, thank you. Do it. Backtrack. Yeah, it worked. There we go. And I have no clue where that was. Master, very strong vibrations. Cause them to within the ship to begin moving. It was difficult to accurately assess, but so just hurry into the crew hurrying to the crew in the brig and freeing them first. So where were they again? I think they were down the hallway more. Put on my slippers here. Feet are getting a little, a little chilly. Were they in here? I have actually been in here. Let's see what we got. Uh, a lot of enemies. A door I can't yet proceed into. A switch puzzle. And what was this over here? Oh, 
Oh. You weren't expecting that, were you? Regular skull. We got eight of those. Alright, let's move this thing. Get to the other side of it. There you go. So, um, I've been playing because I'm. Don't activate it already. What the heck? Oh, I can go to the outside of the ship now. As I was saying, because I'm a 3DS ambassador, I, uh,. I got Fire Emblem Sacred Stones as a one of the GBA titles, and I'm and I just killed myself. And I have to say, Fire Emblem is a really fun game series. Um, I think I'm on chapter 12 of the girl's story, but. Um, I'm liking it. Can't wait to try out. I think the next one I'll get is I think Path of Radiance or something like that for the GameCube. I've heard that one and then I might get Radiant Dawn for the Wii. I don't need a crawl there. Hmm. I wonder. Yeah! Get some. Alright. I think what I'll need to do here is either hit a switch through the door, which I do not see, or go free his crew first, like Fee told us to. I reckon the ladder is probably what we need to do. So let's go save them. Ugh. Think about it, how cool our stuff is now, and pretty much for all of it, we get to upgrade them. Imagine how awesome that's going to be. Oh, I think it's going to be great. Our shield has a couple more upgrades. I'm not even going to bother. Alright, where are you fellows? These guys are a lot easier now. And if you know what to do, I guess. Is this the brig? Got itch my ear again. Yeah. All right, now, dude, what's up? Yes, um, magic. Yes, we sure did. But if I deactivate it, then you'll die. Yeah. Yeah, I was just down there. Huh. Two power generators. In the engine room. Yeah. Hmm. I have an idea. Let us 
Let's try going back t uh, under the ship. Aha! Whoa! Look at all that treasure. Yep, a sacred flame there. There's a whole mess of treasure there. Look at all those. Hmm. I'm liking this floor. There's a chest there too. Oh, that's the outside of the ship. B3. That should be a floor called E3. Be a cool floor, I guess. Ugh. So, um, in one of my previous videos, I mentioned that I was gonna try and find Super Metroid for, well, obviously Super Nintendo uh, that I got for my birthday. So I went to Vintage Stock and they were out. The, really the only good um, Super Nintendo game that I would play that they had is Mario All-Stars. So I got that, and luckily they had two other games in stock. They had Shaq Fu for the Super Nintendo and uh, Superman 64, obviously for the N64. Not the Commodore 64, unfortunately. But, but yeah, I got those, and I have to admit they are pretty horrible. So if you were on the fence about getting it, I would recommend that you probably stay away from it, unless you're like me and you just want to add it to your collection and see how bad it is. Then they're pretty cheap. You can find them eBay or whatever your local game store is. Oh, it's locked now. And so is that. Huh. So I can't get down there. Oh. Is there anything I can do in either of these rooms then? Besides that? And get more arrows? Oh man. This is indeed a problem. That's locked. I need to get in there. So I think what I should try and do is turn the power back on and go through the right way or the left way, whatever way you view it. Almost got it. Ah. Dude, come on. There we go. So now this door is still locked. If I go into here, then I still can't get through there. If I got into there somehow, I could uh, deactivate the time stone so I could get out. Looks like there's a switch to undo the door right there. And that's where I would need to activate it. Looks like there's a wall switch right there. I don't think it's activated yet. No, that's a. I think that's a window. Isn't it? And this keeps the doors open. So, what am I supposed to do? Let's go down and see if there's anything I can do there. Is there possibly anything I can do on the inside? What a second. Look out there. It looks like a painting. A little bit. I don't want to say blurry, but there are paintings that are kind of blurry, so. Oh, hoo -hoo. there might be a switch I have to hit under it, though, to see 
I'm under the door now, I, I think. No, I don't think I am. Because there's a whole load of junk there. And I have to get the other generator to open that. And it's a super long video. Jeez. See, is there anything I can hit through here? Another switch. Huh. We can crawl through there if we go up to here. Um. Okay. Um. I think I know what to do now. But. You will have to find out. If what I figured out is what you think I figured out in the next episode. Thanks for watching.